Well, 30,000 pumpkins are taking over the Mary Botanical Gardens in downtown Oklahoma City, and it's all for Pumpkinville. Good day, Oklahoma's James Keepover joins us live there now. And Jameson, this looks like some real fun out there. Oh yeah, Wayne, so many people are already having fun and they just opened their doors about, what, an hour and a half ago? And there are so many families here, so many groups, and they're seeing things like this behind me. These murals made of pumpkins, they're all across Myriad Gardens. And someone who helped make this possible with me is Kristen Milburn. So Kristen, thank you for joining us. Tell me about what is new this year, why people should come here for their fall activities. Yeah, so Pumpkinville is really, unique um, as far as pumpkin patches go and um, there's a lot of attention to detail to artistic displays um, something new this year we're staying open a little later on Fridays and Saturdays to give families an experience uh, time to experience it more in the evenings and um, families to come after work so yeah we're really excited to welcome families this year oh yeah it Looking through this, there are 30,000 pumpkins and the teeniest, tiniest pumpkins are set up so immaculately. <laughs> but then you also have these big exhibits as well. So for you guys, what is the one thing that you think people have to see this when they come? Oh my gosh. Um, I would say the pumpkin murals. That's something that's really unique to what we do. So we have six pumpkin murals this year. Three of them were done by our director of horticulture, Nate Shane. And then we also have Chris Canale, who's a local artist, did one, and Lisa Quishenberry did two of them. They're incredible. The vision it takes to see a pumpkin and turn that into a piece of art is beyond me, but we're so blessed to work with them and to bring these to life. And it's something super unique to Myriad Gardens and you have to come down and see it. Yes, and so many people have already been coming out here this morning and this runs through October 20th. So you have time to come maybe once, twice, three times. And there are so many activities here as well for families. Tell us, um, I don't know if you know all the prices, but people can find this online. <laughs> oh, you know it. So $9 to get in, yeah. but members get in free and you guys have some special memberships right now. That's right. So it's $9 per person to get in. Ages two and under are free. Um, we also do a combination ticket if you're interested in coming down and seeing um, Pumpkinville and visiting the renovated Crystal Bridge. You can save a little bit of money there. Um, we also, members can get in free. You can come every day of Pumpkinville. So we have a variety of levels of memberships. And then we also are rolling out a new membership this year that is joint with our sister park, Scissortail Park. So you can get benefits at both, both locations. Wonderful. And you can can get those memberships when you walk up to the gates you can see that giant dragon uh, as you enter the gates and then there's so many other mythological creatures for you to see here in Pumpkinville reporting live for Good Day Oklahoma I'm Jameson Keepover